Welcome to the first video in the Roth Conversions series. Today, I will talk about the difference between a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA. Are you looking for tax-free retirement income? A Roth conversion strategy can be used to pay taxes now and avoid tax bills later when your income may be lower or taxes may be higher. There are a few key differences between a traditional IRA and a Roth. The biggest is how they're taxed. With a traditional IRA, you may be able to deduct your contributions each year from your taxes. However, all distributions from the IRA are taxed as income. With a Roth IRA, there are no upfront deductions for contributions, but your distributions are tax-free, assuming you are age 59 and a half or older, and the account has been open five years. One area where the traditional IRA and Roth IRA are the same is with regard to contributions. In 2021, the contribution limits for both IRAs are the same. Annual contribution limit is $6,000 and the catch-up limit is $1,000. A key difference is whether or not you can contribute. Not everyone can contribute to a Roth IRA. If your income is too high, you may only be able to make a partial contribution or no contribution at all. So you are probably wondering how a Roth conversion works. Let's go over the five steps. Step one is to fund a traditional IRA. You will need a traditional IRA to convert. It may be a traditional IRA that you've been funding for years, or perhaps you are rolling an old 401k into a traditional IRA before converting to a Roth. Step two is to open the Roth IRA. Before you could transfer your traditional IRA assets, you have to have an open Roth IRA to direct the money. Step three is to pay your taxes on the converted assets. Remember, all the distributions from a traditional IRA are taxed as income, not capital gains. That includes distributions for Roth conversions. Step four is to transfer the traditional IRA assets to the Roth IRA. Your financial professional or IRA custodial can help you complete the paperwork so that the assets are automatically transferred, avoiding any penalty. And the last step is to wait at least five years to achieve tax-free distributions. For Roth IRA distributions to be tax-free, you must be at least 59 and a half and the account must be open at least five years. Plan ahead and make sure you wait the correct amount of time. Otherwise, you'll lose the Roth IRA tax benefits.